Hi, this is Edwin Nicolescu with a new video about uh, crypto and digital currencies. I want to talk to you now about diversification. So the most successful people I know in this space, they own a portfolio in average of five coins. And I, I will not advise to put everything in, uh, in, in one bucket. I know some people having uh, 10 coins or 20 coins or 30 coins, but the most successful one, they focus on five coins. And usually they have um, some of the most important ones right now and some of the most technological ones. Because you can see today a lot of ICOs, uh, initial coin offers, which are built on, on the Ethereum platform so most of them are dead already why because they don't have any uh, technical innovation so when i'm analyzing a coin and in the last two years i looked very very close to this market uh, looking at three uh, main things very important things so first i'm looking at the team behind the project and uh, I'm, I'm analyzing, I'm doing my own diligence, looking at what they did before, if this is their first project or not. And something very interesting also happened at a certain moment. You see, um, you see coins launching and you see a team page and you have um, um, links to their LinkedIn pages, their LinkedIn profiles. And there were coins using actually fake LinkedIn profiles. I don't necessarily believe that it was an innocent happening. But anyway, what I want to advise when you want to, to put some, uh, some, some money in a certain coin, also get in touch with somebody from the team to be sure that you will not be, um, you will not be scammed. Come on. This is very simple. So look also for, for the uh, validity of the uh, social media profiles posted there. So first thing I'm looking is the team. Second thing also very important, if that coin has a technological breakthrough or not. It has, if it has a technological advancement there, if there is any innovation. Because now it's very easy to create a new coin, but we'll have zero uh, value because um, we will we'll not be any, any technical innovation. And this, um, this side of the financial system is driven by innovation, by technological innovation. So if there is zero innovation, I believe sooner or later will be zero value. And three, third and very, very important step also, I'm looking at the possibility for that coin to be mass adopted because um, uh, people said that okay bitcoin will become a huge widely adopted global adopted coin which initially seemed viable but uh, bitcoin is very slow the transactions fees are big and this is not good for um for small small payments so if you go to pay with Bitcoin at a supermarket until the transaction will be verified, which could take 10 minutes, 20 minutes or even half a day, you will not be able to, <laughs> to, to uh, collect your purchases, right? So it's not, it's not good for that. But Bitcoin and Ethereum, uh, but mainly Bitcoin became an investment asset is like the new gold, but very, very volatile. Because uh, the, the, the price was uh, up to uh, towards $20,000 in November, December 2017, and now is around uh, $4,000. And probably tomorrow could go uh, lower, but also could go higher very, very fast. What is very important with Bitcoin is that there is a, a finite quantity of Bitcoin available. So it's not necessarily important the price of Bitcoin right now, 
what is important is to own a piece from this pi. Ethereum uh, also is, um, is very available or became very available because uh, on the Ethereum's platform could be launched other coins. And this was like um, 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 a knife with, with two blades because uh, so, so many startups after they are launching an, um, a, a new coin based on Ethereum a ecosystem, they sell they, their tokens, even they sell their Ethereum holdings and they are, uh, they are tearing the price down of Ethereum, which, which is very bad. Uh, Ripple is also an important coin and uh, you, you will see that in the recent days when um, Ethereum and Bitcoin became Black Friday and Cyber, Cyber Monday deals, um, Ripple was not going down so much. And Ripple has as a purpose to replace the, the actual bank-to-bank uh, -bank, uh, IBAN payments, which is a, a great objective, by the way. And they have a lot of technology there. Also, I'm looking at the new generation type of coins. Coins which are not using blockchain, like CloudCoin. And uh, CloudCoin is based on a system called Rada, which is superior to blockchain. And slowly, slowly, it's taking over the world. It's a great coin for retail, for in-game purchases, for uh, e-commerce, and for other things. So I, I, would, I would definitely uh, include CloudCoin in, in my holdings and anyway I'm involved with 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 cloudcoin is a project I'm um, uh, believing in it 100% I see the future for it but um, of course uh, every process of penetrating the mass uh, market takes time so it's not something happening from today to tomorrow but diversification knowing what you are doing because I will not say okay diversify and and, and uh, like that I want you to diversify knowing about the, um, the um, coins you want to include in your portfolio and this is not a short-term game it could be a shorter game if you want to have quick profits but you could have also huge quick losses if the prices will go down tomorrow. This is um, a medium to long term game if you involve. And slowly, slowly you, you, you need to build your portfolio. You can start with very, very small amounts, which is the, the, the beauty of it. So the barrier of entry is very low. And when you are building um, a portfolio of uh, stocks, bonds, real estate, um, precious metals, um, I don't know, uh, forex trading and crypto, I would say to allocate to crypto between 10 and 20% of your portfolio, no more than that, right? So uh, we have also some advanced training for you after this serial, so you, you are welcome to jump on board and learn more about it, okay? So we'll go back with the third video in a bit. Thank you very much.